JT. We Oh, fly, fly from Adam. Well, at least we caught it. Maybe a one FPS in eleven here for the TA already. Yeah, yeah. Dunker is going to get down here because you did the task with there. Taking you a lot to him. <laughs> say that it was not that massive a CS difference between. Radiant. Uh, I'm just taking that one. Big difference. Sure, top. 1k network hit. JT looking to throw the fissure at Hector. You all stingers here with the LSA. They've got the blood right that will silence up this Kaka Zeus, but we try to back away to the other side of the lane, stay out of the hands of Stinger and Hector, but he's still coming over and still trying to chase Kaka with the courier. Almost taking his eyes, but 2,000 net worth lead right now for Beast Coast feels uh, like they're able to punish and keep the aggression up high. Oh, but here comes the Bane as well as the Kunkka. They've got the Nightmare setting up the boat and the torrent. And for all his time spent on the Radiant side of the map, they're able to make him pay for it. It's a bit of an odd team. Like, just everyone on both sides popping south. Which is, uh, I don't know if they're not going to go for it. And they have the snowball coming through. Schofield gets the kill. Emo chasing Schofield around the Ancients as he'll come over and try to deny himself to neutrals. But the Torrent actually makes sure that none of them attack him. From mid, they've got the X as well as the Torrent. Once again, JT's come over. Brain Sap Fissure locking him down. And Shards blocking in the Kunkka. They've got the Nightmare on Selena. Now the snowball to avoid the boat and as well avoid the X. Ollie hit up by the LSA. Fishing the Fissure. The Bloodrite comes in. Won't land on anybody. They've got the totem on to the Bloodseeker. And a lot of damage on the Schofield for the kill, but he'll run over the stack of neutrals and lose himself. I think once like one. Go try to get this Bloodseeker, blow him up. As they had the Brain Sap as well as the boat coming in with the Torrent. Man, Chronosphere as well as the Torrent landing on a Schofield. He'll have the Snowball to survive, but the Fissure hits on a Whisper as well as Stinger. So they get to the lose Ollie, make a third. So far, a three for one. Now we're going to try to finish off Stinger. Well, Goonaboy comes out as well as the Totem double kill here for JT. And just having Chris Hawk by himself. If you get the full team wipe, this could be really good. They really need to slow down the TA. And they've got Echo if they want to commit. Let's see your back up. Oh, JT. Trying to survive has the totem with the X, but he just Ollie goes down when they're by the shrine looking over for Whisper. Avoiding the dilation with the patient, but they've got the boat coming in and they'll get the kill on a Whisper. Emo and back with a couple of kills. So, I think he's gonna drop this we'll put some pressure on. Trying to catch the Tusk. Schofield, low, but they've got the LSA follow-up from Stinger. Kaka just runs through as well, and he'll die. Well, they're putting on so much pressure. Fly Fly taking a lot of damage, and now they'll throw the boat in with the Chronosphere Zeus onto the TA. Chris Lock ends up dying. Or shake with his. Maybe off. Laguna Blade on a Kunkka. Snowball comes in, and they'll land the Torn onto the Tusk. We've got the Walrus Punch hitting onto Emo. Meanwhile, on the other end of this fight, they're going to look over the pocket. They have the Fiend Troop coming in. Blood right on Holly. Can they kill Whisper in time? They've got the Bash as well as the X. Base ship surviving for now. The Bash has come in on the first shot. And Whisper goes down, throwing up that Ozuri Orb to try and retreat. Meanwhile, Stinger, he's weird by his spell. Emo gets the double kill. And East Coast are just throwing bodies in the moment. And they're losing everybody. X and they've got Bloodseeker again. So they're getting caught again. And they've also got a cost nearby. Nightmare as well as the Totem Fisher. Caught one and two. And now all of a sudden he's eight, two, and seven. Really catching up. He's got himself 8,700, 8,800 worth. And they've got themselves yet another as they catch Stinger out on their end of the map. Mid. 
And they've got the Dream Court with the waning rip. Silence, LSA comes out and they're able to control a Fly Fly enough. Malai is being held together by Emo, who will fall right into the hands of Scofield. So X coming out, but they've got the stuns to make sure that he's not caught by a tour. And afterwards, back over mid and Whisper's going to be killed up. They've also got Singer hit with a Fissure. One right boat coming in behind them is Hector. See what he's able to accomplish coming through with the rest of his team. TA's here just off for a moment. Emo on the road with a rupture on him. Kaka taking a lot of damage, but he'll go after himself. Oh, he ends up dead. Crystal gets the kill there. Kaka's gone. JT just has to watch from the trees as. Oh, he ends up losing his life. And now they'll find Fly Fly. They've got the rupture. They'll time walk away, try to get out. The LSA is there. They've got the lockdown. They'll get the kill out of the void once again. Three heroes gone here on the side of IG. If, uh, in fact, IG. Will the defenders. East Coaster kind of closing in. Comes Chris Luck showing off that cheap stick immediately. And Kaka down low ends up dead. They've got a two man Dream Core. It's going to snap on the Emo as well as Ollie. The Luna Boy's going to be thrown to the bait. They're trying to finish him off from Will with the Blood Right. Sure gets not one but two kills here as he takes out both the Bane as well as the Kunkka. And this is a defensive Chronosphere. They have that 25, they'll have the Melody Bash, which is going to be disgusting. Aegis expires, and now the Meltrike comes out as well as the X onto the Kunkka. Another Meltrike for good measure. Evo down quite low. But uses that hover to save his life. And now the tour the Laguna Boy comes out. Is it going to be enough? Yes, it will with the Dragon Slave. And it will. TA caught by blinking in on, on a mid with JT and take out Stinger. JT. The shadow way before the Yules, and now they'll dust him up. They've got the Nimbus down on top of Schofield. Whisper comes over, drops the Dream Coil. And I haven't gotten this kill this yet, but they'll send it with a Bloodseeker with the Rupture as well as Stinger. Nobody coming over for IG to help out JT, and it will eventually lose his life. So like it sat on the top of this net worth chart the entire game. Dream Coil not going to hit on Kaka. Has a TP available. We'll try to use it. They start to come through this radiant jungle. Blink. Echo Slam with the Nicknames. Do they have enough to kill up the TA? They do. They'll catch Chris Luck himself. The rest of the team within their jungle and... And comes out from the dire to spot them going over towards Roshan. Kaka walks in despite having the career vision already. Have an opportunity to grab that Aegis and cheat. Sword of Spear comes out into the Tusk as well as the Lena. They'll get the kill on the Stinger. Bloodright is there with the rupture onto Fly Fly. Shards come in. Box him for a moment away from the Aegis. They've got the Nightmare onto the Tusk. The Bloodright comes out and hits onto Ollie. After really moving forward on this, is there's a blink with the Warlord Punch. They'll get the kill onto the main. People for Evo on the Kunkka. Whisper boots travel, and now they've got the Dream Coil onto Kaka. He'll pop the Ghost Scepter, but sitting one shot from dead, and when he fades out of it, fades. Blink deck for Slam, locking him down with a Fissure, and Chris Luck's got it again! 94 seconds on, the Skull Steve is not there. And Skull trying to run away with low health. They look over an actor, he's gonna be bashed up and killed off. They look for Stinger, they're gonna look for everything here. Time dilation slowing him up. He's gonna be about to run out on Fly Fly. They land the Fissure, the Yules comes out from the Lena, but is it gonna be enough? It doesn't look like it. They've got the Explosion Tour, they line it up, that's gonna be free gone. See which one he starts going for. His tier two tower over top will end up falling. And try and get out. They throw shards, not gonna catch. And now the Thunder Guys as well as the Nimbus. There'll be a snowball over to this creep wave with an illusory coming out from Whisper. Schofield X. They've got him locked down. They'll also hit the torrent. And trying to get this kill as quickly as they can. Taking a couple shots. Now the Dream Core comes down on two of them. Pops them both up. They'll time walk, get snapped, and Kunkka popping the BKB. Stinger not doing as much action as he would like to, but here comes Chris Lux and the Fiend's Grip. Holly position perfectly. Whisper comes over to the Lady Break to silence him up and let Chris out of the hands of the Bane. A 
the buyback from Puck. IG played that fight perfectly and look like they're set to take the high ground and maybe even the game. Oh man, the refresher pays off for JT. Look at a straight throne here. Step the Meteor Hammer, get the first tier four, they want everything. Buying out on Meteor Hammers. And they just call GG. 15,000 net worth lead. And with one perfect fight, IG wipe it clean and win the game.